I had for you and to suggest be thoughtful how you handle these good opportunities. Sometimes it can mean that there's some kind of unrest, maybe at work, maybe work has labor problems, um, political parties that want to take action to, to change laws, or it could mean upheaval, but not in just a negative sense, could be in a positive sense too. I hold it down there so you can actually see the thing. So it doesn't mean upheaval like bad upheaval, it just means like change. Okay. Your last card. Like this is a major card. And there's what we call the major arcane cards. And this is one of them and it is the moon. Which is interesting because if I didn't say before, next Saturday is the full moon. So if you feel crazy or people seem like they're going crazy, it's because they're lunatics. Um the um whenever you get a major arcane card <coughs> oh, excuse me pollen when you get the major arcane cards like this it's um it means like you're progressing in life okay and there's a lot of major ones I'm not going to go into that right now but the moon one is kind of like by the light of the moon things ain't always what they seem uh, it reminds us that uh, illusions and hidden forces can obscure what's really happening. Um, but this also re represents our psychic, imaginative side, um, like the Pisces and all of us, if you're familiar with any of the signs, like what's your sign? But this is an advanced life journey card. So, somewhere you're kind of advanced. And maybe in your artwork, actually. Um, whenever you see this card, like the major card that's the moon, you think of um, nurturing your imagination, um, maybe your psychic development or unforeseen change, which goes back to the um, Four of Swords, where we have some change happening here. This also is your hidden side, you know, like dark side of the moon sort of thing. Crap, we're over 10 minutes. I wonder if this thing's going to fit. I'm going to have to cut some of it off or do it in two parts. Anyway, so let me see what else I'm going to tell you about the moon. It's upright. When it appears upright, well, of course, we have that unseen event thing, which I already told you about. Um... Sometimes it can mean a disagreement with somebody you love, or maybe you're going to have an outburst over some little thing, and then you're going to feel like you just kind of blew it all out of proportion. Um, it can also be your psychic ability, which I said, in your dreams, your intuitive power. I don't know if you feel like you have like an intuitive side or um, a psychic side that maybe you've been trying to develop, but you just haven't said anything to anybody about it. Um... This gives you the ability to, I don't want to say prophesize universally, but that sounds kind of like <laughs> out there kind of thing. Um, whenever you feel something big's coming, whether it's a change of residence or where you live or your emotions, the moon will always confirm your intuition. This card indicates nighttime activity. Of course, it's the moon, it's not the sun, or things that are going to happen at night. Um, so that's a good card. That's a good card. And that's a good reading. And I don't, you know, I don't know what you ask. And some, somehow, in my feeble little brain, I kind of got the, all these, ah, pollen's killing me. I kind of thought that it was, um, that maybe you would, <laughs> that maybe you would ask about your kids. But I had a feeling that with you it would be something to do with your family. Maybe only because I know how much you love your family and your husband and your daughter. And I thought maybe that's what you would ask. But after I, after drawing the cards, I'm kind of thinking like maybe it has something to do with your artwork. Like maybe you want to go somewhere with that. Um, and that, well, 
I was going to tell you that the, the party ladies with the cups here, this always means summer. Cups is always summertime. So what for some kind of change um, coming this summer? Uh, something maybe to do with your art, something to do with something you're developing in yourself, and there may be a little... Um, not stress, but like somebody who's not kind of with the program with you on it. But it's going to turn out okay. It's going to be okay because your kind of destiny is that this this is going to come to pass. And um, just be strong in it and let that hidden side, you know, from the dark side of the moon come out. And, um, Hopefully it was a pretty good reading. I'd be interested to uh, to hear your take on it and see what you thought or what you ask and see whether it was completely off base or whether there was any kind of merit to it. So, again, I say to you, namaste, which means the spirit in me acknowledges the spirit in you. I'm not really a religious person, but I am, I am a spiritual person. Don't need to write me telling me I'm going to hell or what the Bible says about divination. Been there, done there, read it, got the t-shirt. Um, so let me know. I'll be anxious to find out what you thought. <laughs> I love to do these. I especially love to do them free. Alright, this is probably going to be, it looks like it's about 14 minutes long. So I'm probably going to have two videos out of this. But, send me a webcast back and let me know what you think. Okay, ciao.